welcome back to another weekly vlog. I feel like it's been a while. It might have even been three weeks. Apologies about that. I am currently on my way to the doctors, which I haven't been to the doctors, oh my gosh, since before COVID. So it's been a, it's been a long time. I'm um, trying not to stress, but I've just got like a little lump under my chin. Um, and I, any lump or bump you find, you should obviously get checked out. So I'm hoping it's just my glands. I remember I've had it before years ago, but I was a very naive little teenager. Whereas now, things like this, I'm like, no, just go get it checked out for peace of mind, you know? Um, it could be nothing. I'm hoping she's just gonna say, oh, it's just a double chin. I never have wanted a double chin more in my life than right now. Um, but we shall see. I didn't know whether to vlog it because I am myself, I'll be honest. Don't like the doctors. It's currently half nine. I'm almost at my appointment at 10 to 10. I've luckily enough got one this morning, um, which I'm very glad about. So that is the current situation. Of course, I shall update you guys when I'm out of the doctors. I'm not going to vlog in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely not the place to vlog is it but as soon as I'm back in the car hopefully everything will be fine um, and yeah peace of mind we're all good we're all good it was a very quick appointment um, it's my saliva gland I think she said it was um, and she's not too sure as to why it is the way it is Yeah, she said she didn't actually know why it was inflamed. Everything else is fine. Um, and if it carries on to go to the dentist. <laughs> so she was lovely, really nice nurse. But um, it's just one of those one of those weird things. I'm glad I got it checked out. Peace of mind is just for peace of mind, isn't it? Like the best thing ever. And I feel so much better now. I've gone and got that sorted and I'm glad I did it. Now I'm gonna drive home, sun is out, washing is going out, and I've got a vlog to edit. So, yeah, I did wanna get, I was gonna get up early this morning, get all my work done before 10 and then go to the gym at 10. It's now 10 and no work has been done, so we'll give the gym a miss today. We can always go tomorrow. Um, guys, oh no, it's gone. There is a spider dangling here. It's kind of under the mirror. Luckily, I'm not too scared of spiders, as long as I can see where they are. Um, I just popped in to see Nan and Grandad because I passed their road so I was like I may as well pop in and have a cup of tea with them which I just did which was nice but I'm now going home the sun is out for like the only time this week so I have a wash that should be done that I'm sticking straight out and um and I'm going to put another load in hello wow <laughs> so silly i'm not gonna complain though i'm just about to go to the gym also i just wanted to come here and apologize it's actually now friday i'm sorry we need to let's move rooms because it is so sunny that's better it's now friday um, i did start vlogging yesterday i went to the gym and then not went downhill because you know what it was it was fun i just honestly i didn't do anything to vlog so we go we go again today i'm just about to head to the gym again <laughs> she's, just, she's back in her gym girl airbrush and she's loving it but perfect timing these little earphones have just arrived from soundcore who are very kindly sponsored this little section of the video so massive thank you to them but i'm honestly so excited now these these are the liberty 4 ncs now they are only 79.99 sound quality it is such crisp sound with 11 mm drivers and high res wireless so i thought we could unbox them and try them out together in this vlog they are oh they're in like a little matte black case they are so bougie and i believe they've got charge which is great because i do want to go and try them out now at the gym me and dan have just been testing these out i honestly they are so good like the noise cancelling is unreal and one thing about me and i know it's not a good thing but i like my music loud like loud okay <laughs> these are loud like they are loud, which is the thing I love about them. I don't know if it's like the noise cancelling that helps or what, but they are loud. I think they like look really cool as well. These type of earphones have never normally fitted my ears. Like I've never gotten with them, but these, 
they're in. I love them. They do do them in white as well, but I really like the black, probably because I always wear black to the gym. I just find the sound quality is so crisp and so clear. If I wasn't going to get copyrighted, I'd find a way so you guys can hear, but... I'm actually going to take them out because I can't even hear myself talk. I feel like I'm shouting because the noise cancelling is that good. They're actually 98.5% noise cancellation. Let me tell you, it's unreal. And in one usage, they actually last up to 10 hours of battery life, which is also very good. But then with the case charging, without charging the case, they last up to 50 hours, which again, unreal. But if you're like me and you forget to charge things, I do that all the time. Charges for 10 minutes and you'll get four hours usage of listening. Again, fab. Let's go to the gym. Let's go test these bad boys out. So okay, they were so sick, but I feel like we didn't get a real test because the gym was very quiet, so... I thought I'd put the uh, noise cancelling to the to a really good test. Let's go food shopping. Let's go to Aldi, where I know for a fact it's going to be busy because Aldi is it's always busy. Let's go do the weekly food shop. No one seems to hold me like you do. You're so wonderful. I could never shine as bright as you. Mm. Even the dark, they still see light. Even the birds still sing at night. Every word just comes out right when I'm with you, with you. I speak me a bit. Audi was wow and truly busy. <laughs> Let me tell you the difference, <laughs> made things a lot better. I love to put my music on anyway when I go food shopping, when it's just me, I obviously don't if I'm with Dan, but because they were noise cancelling. I've always thought I've had noise cancelling earphones before, but I definitely haven't. Like the experience, 10 out of 10. I loved it in the gym, because I don't know anyone else's gym, but my gym just when I'm going, huh, 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 block that out love that and then food shop just blocks out everything it was great the thing i did like it for the gym though is because it really like puts you in the zone because there's no background noise apart from obviously what's playing through your earphones amazing loved it anyway i'm gonna unpack this shopping now because it needs to go in the fridge <laughs> this is well and truly just baffled me i didn't it back so i went into the gym but i went into the gym with the earphones in and out of the gym with the earphones still in, like never took them out, had music playing the whole time. And when I was in the gym, I was like, how typical that the gym's not blasting the music today? Um, Cause I couldn't hear it. I honestly couldn't hear it. And then I've just watched that footage back of me um, on the treadmill and the stairs. And the music's so loud, but I like physically couldn't hear it. The noise cancelling is unreal. I'm gonna leave everything linked down below with a link where you can go find them, go shop them. Even now, like I've got them right here. I haven't stopped using them. Hand on heart, I cannot recommend these little earphones enough. Like I say, I'm gonna link them down below for you guys to go shop, go check them out. And yeah, if you are after some new earphones, I, yeah, like I just said, I hand on heart cannot recommend these enough. This is everything I got. Red onions, chopped tomatoes, beans, uh yogurts <laughs> these yogurts are so so good i recommend if you go to aldi you can get the normal like i think it's miller corners or someone like that who does like the actual branded ones but aldi do them branded ones as well wraps chicken salmon cucumber bread steak mince potato for a jack of potato in the week um pancakes snacker jacks Velveeta. these are so yum uh, baby corn, ham, more chicken, broccoli, sweet potato, more teasers, green beans. I said these were alright last week, but when I woke up this morning and there was none left, I was not happy. I actually was really craving them, so I picked up some more of these. Some oven chips, some jammy dodgers, lettuce, milk, sweet chilli crackers, bananas, peppers, tuna. It's everything. Our Aldi is right by a gym, and you know the temptation of... No, it's not by a gym, it's right by McDonald's and the temptation of going to McDonald's. I resisted though, 
scared. I was like, you've just done a food shop. You've just gone to the gym. You've just done a food shop. Don't go to McDonald's. So I'm just making some beans on toast, which is actually, I actually always forget beans on toast exists. And it's such, such an elite lunch. Eat this with the cup of tea. And then the H&M parcel arrived, which I didn't think it was going to. So now I'm going to film that this afternoon. You know, if any of you watched last week's vlog, I ordered like a new foundation tinted serum situation and it was too dark. Do you know what? I had it on this morning and it, it weren't too bad, but I did just pick up a lighter one. This is the shade below. So is this four to five? Must be. Oh yeah, four to five medium. I'm going to try this one out instead and hope that it works a little bit better, but I'm going to sit, get ready and then film. I've got a shot of various parcels that I've been putting off opening to put it in the weekly vlog so we can go open that downstairs. There's some shoes in there which I'm so excited about. They're like Samba dupes, but we'll get onto that later. For now, I'm going to sit and get ready for the day. Please don't mind how messy this room is. I'm actually gonna redo it soon. I've been saying this for so long, but it just needs doing. It's such a mess in here, like the paintwork, everything. We should put it back to basics. I'm gonna keep the panel in, but um, yeah. Soon to come in a vlog, I'll vlog it all. This room is just getting redone. Just so I'll start using it again, because it's just a waste of a room at the minute. We have a shot of Aries parcel. I'm really hoping these are going to be nice. I think they are. They look quite big though. I don't know, they are a size 3. I think these are like £30. Oh my goodness. I honestly love these so much. £25.99 Euros, so whatever that is. That might be cheaper than 30 I love like the gum soles, the pink, the black. Oh my god, I love them. And then I also got these trousers. They are so cool. They've got like um a white waistband, so it looks like boxers. They look so they look so long. We'll go try them on. But yeah, that was my really small shot of areas part. But I just wanted to show you all these shoes. I'll link them down below. Guys, these shoes are so sick. And you wouldn't know that that, that they're not gazelles or sambas. They are samba juice, not gazelle juice, but still like you wouldn't know if they were either of the two. Because I wear them with long like baggy trousers or jeans anyway. <laughs> They're so sick. And like, I've got plenty of room. So if you, like, I'm normally three and a half, but I've got a three. Um, and they're like a, they're a good fit. Hello. Um, probably most normal people our age would go on a walk, which we were going to do, but a couple of weeks ago. When was it, like, a couple of Sundays ago? Oh, I was really bored. We'd been watching football all day and I was like, should we go to the park and play football? This girl cannot, like, cannot, never kicked a ball in my life, like, cannot play football. But I've always just wanted to go to a park. Now I'm interested in football and just, like, lob a ball for the fun of it. And it was so much fun, wasn't it? It was fun, yeah. So we come back to the park, got a football each, and we're just going to kick it about. I think it's, challenge. I think it's good, um... I'm going to set something on my Apple Watch. For exercise? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can set yeah. like a, like a other exercise just to track it. I reckon it's a great bit of exercise. All right, let's go.
Come on. When I'm home, it's so dark. I'm still not over falling over. <laughs> I rhymed. But Dan is just cooking dinner. I'm setting up the telly. We're watching Prison Break at the minute. And I'm really enjoying it. It's on Disney Plus. And you can get like um a trial for like $1.99 for three months. Or is that $1.99 a month for three months? So we're just watching it on that. And that's the current situation. We've got steak wraps for dinner, which I love. It's just a wrap with steak, peppers, red onion, chips. Got to put the chips in the wrap. And a little bit of cheese. And ketchup. It is nice. Honestly, it's so good. And then some chips on the side. It's like such... It's like our Friday night dinner. We love it. See, there it is. And it's amazing. It seems to be our new Friday night dinner, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Just to be fair. Hi. So, do you know literally a couple clips ago, I said how I really want to do that room up. I don't know how, but I really easily convinced Dan yesterday, and he's like, yeah, that's fine, we'll do it. Um, we haven't put it off for two years. I have offered to paint it myself, because painting's not that hard, although he says that I'm rubbish at it, and that I'm not doing it, because I'll ruin it even more. So... Maybe the threat of me saying I'm going to paint it works and I'll try it again in future, but he's gone off to Wix and I need to clear this room out while he's gone, which might be a little bit hard, but we're going to we're gonna try it anyway. I cannot wait. This is what it's currently looking like. Um, a bit of a mess, to be honest. Obviously, this is where it was ruined. Where well, there looks bad, but... I know for a full fact it might not look it, but it's going to be the full room. Like, you can tell a little bit on the door. Don't burn candles, kids. <laughs> this candle is from TK Maxx. Honestly, worst thing ever. Like, you can just... Yeah. The panelling's stay in. It's all getting painted the same colour, though, now. I'm just going for Egyptian cotton, which is around the whole house, but I just love it. God, I want to be quick in case he comes back home and I've not done anything. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and then I think I'm going to end up getting new floor as well. But that's a decision for another day. But yeah, the ceiling needs painting, skirts and boards, doors, walls, everything. But for now, I'm going to move everything out. I'm also trying not to shove everything into my dressing room because I need to get, we're going out tonight, I need to get ready in there. So I'm just trying to be careful with one. Everything upstairs is a complete and utter mess, but also me and Dan were just saying we didn't realize how bad it was. Luckily, I am gonna get new flooring because even the carpet is ruined. It's mad what a candle can do. It was like almost two years ago, I'll be honest. I think it all happened. What was it last? No, it was like two years ago. Um, and I remember at the time, I didn't know what it was at the time, but going in the shower and the water being like black and I was really scared. It was like the shower had gone mouldy or something like that or like scrubbed the shower head like it was clean. And I was like, why is the water black? So concerned, I was like Googling it. And now I realised that it was all the soot coming off me because I remember even my clothes being black. You just have to be really careful with candles. Um, definitely scarred <laughs> in confined spaces. But I am on coffee, food duty, <laughs> being the housewife that I am, I'm going to make Dan a black coffee and some toast. The Egyptian cotton is going on, the ceiling's been painted and already looks so much better and so is the coven, but everything is going to be Egyptian cotton, all the same colour. And then I'm I'm torn between getting herringbone flooring or like a fluffy carpet. Because I like this when we first had it in, but it just, like, I can't explain it. But it's just almost messy. Like, it just sheds a lot. So, I'm torn, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But, yeah, it's already looking a lot better. I'm just going to make some... Sandwiches because it's 20 past 12 and the football's on, so Dan's having a break. 
watching that. I watch it with him. Have lunch. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. There's some things I want to order, like I want to get a new mirror, a new print. Um, and then I've got some stuff coming from Timu as well, which I'm excited about. Do you want tea or coffee? Look at this. It's going dark already and it's, I don't even know what the time is, like five o'clock. But it's had its first coat on. It feels so warm and homely in here and I love it. I'm so excited. I've just, let me show you. Some prints from Decenio they had. They are expensive, but they had four for two. So I got four for the price of two. And I like the looks of the painting. This is what we, well, I had at the minute. And I've had this since my bedroom at my parents' house. So I thought it's time to get a new print. And I really like the looks of the paintings. This one is the one I think I'm gonna use, but I did get four. But I think I'm gonna use that one and I'm not gonna put the print there anymore. Because I'm going to get a new mirror. Oh, guys, I cannot wait to show you. I'm going to move the print onto this back wall because this wall's always needed something. But, yeah, I'm going to try and get rid of this one on Marketplace because it's just a little bit too big and chunky and I want an arched one. You don't fit in it, do you? I don't... <laughs> Funny. I need to try and get ready. I need to try and get ready in there. But we're going out with some friends, so I need to get ready now and it's going to be a mission. The absolute state. But it's looking so good. There's a little OTD. I've DIY'd myself some bangs, i.e. the breakage in my hair. And it looks a little bit weird in camera, but I do actually really like it. Um, but I've just got this blazer on from PLT. Crop top is Zara. Jeans are PLT and I'm going to just pop on my Adidas Sambas. Oh, bag's PLT as well. We're, we're rocking the PLT tonight. Pay for Mayfair. Did I tell you there's only four Mayfair tickets? Yep. I don't know if that's UK or worldwide. I thought this is only a UK thing. Well, what was the station you needed? Might have been that one. I didn't actually look what you've got. Maribyrn. Mm, no, I don't think it was Maribyrn. Got that one. God, we got let. Did you get them with chicken nuggets? Huh? You don't get them on chicken nuggets. You don't? That's such a scam. A like six chicken nuggets. I'm fuming. Oh, and mind. you didn't get the big barbecue sauce. You want the little ones? <laughs> Not very good. <laughs> Not a very good order then, was it? Anyway, we're coming to McDonald's because we haven't had dinner yet. And then we're going, but are we going to meet them at bowl and we're going to Spoons? Spoons, probably. A oh, medium milkshake. Oh. Not bad. Medium milkshake. I've got a hunger chicken nugget. Yeah, I'm very much. How do you get them on a cheeseburger, not but chicken. not chicken nugget? Can we call the sauce, please? Um, I think it's the barbecue. They haven't put my curry sauce in. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Let's survive another day. Oh, did I forget to put salt on these chips in this McDonald's? Second time. No salt. Excellent. Oh, mate, I'm doing well, you know. What did you get? I've got six nuggets down there, a medium milkshake there, and a quarter pound of cheese there. You can have. So I don't know. Like cool. Whitechapel Road. The chips don't have salt on them. Yeah, that's a bit odd. Mm mm mm. I how much Dan. The man, right here, has done it in one day. Not gonna lie, I didn't expect you to do this much. Yeah, a good shift to be fair. It's in the whole room. Try and see some flavours. Um, Looks good to be fair. One more coat. Hopefully this only needs one more. Shift it's dried really well to be fair. It just feels so much more homelier. Blind needs to go back up. It looks really dark on camera. 
I think it looks quite dark as it is. Compared to like the colour, it's the same colour as that's out there. Good morning. This. <laughs> it's not a look. It's not a look. Um, I can't get into my dressing room. So this is the current OOTD. It's a little bit mismatch. These joggers are actually so nice. Though. They're the um, Urban Outfitters ones. Oh, I love them. Jacket is Sisters and Seekers and my top is just H&M. But Dan has been an absolute angel and he is painting. Um, upstairs it's nearly done to be fair. The thing with me and Dan, every time, every single time, we do one thing and then we love it, we love the way it looks, we're like, oh, so then let's do this, let's do that. And one thing we've been meaning to do for like the longest time ever is that banister on the top of the stairs. We can't do it, we're, we're not calm, it's just like, we'd have no clue what we're doing. But it's just like, um, I don't know if you've seen it before, like, it's like, half, like a half wall at the minute where we want like spindles put in. So we're going to get that done because I'm going to get new carpet put in there. I was torn between flooring and carpet, but I'm definitely going to go for carpet because I think I'll end up regretting hard floor and we have it throughout the whole of the bottom of the house. So I think it'll be nice just to have like the warm carpet upstairs. But Dan was like, the carpet I want in my office is what we want on the stairs in London, so we might as well get it all done. But in order, but there's no point us getting the stairs in London done until we've done the banister. So it's like 10 things at once that we're doing. So once that's painted, we need to go get some carpet, get someone to come measure it all out, and then there'll be new carpet in my room upstairs, the hallway, no, the landing and the stairs. Does that make sense? I think I've made it so complicated. And then we'll get all the uh, the banister done. So we've cut off, is it bark people use? I don't know, Dan sorts it all. We are hoping someone will get back to us on there and we can kind of get it done ASAP. So that is the current situation. The upstairs has had a little bit of a transformation. It's been needing to be done for like over a year. So it's just nice that it's finally getting done. And it's going to look so nice. I'm going to order the mirror. I'm getting um, a new mirror from William Wood Mirrors because I've got 20% off the minute and they are expensive, the mirrors. I have one already in the bedroom and I love it and it's like a bigger version of it. And 20% is a lot off. I think I'll say like £42. So I want to get that ordered. Got some prints coming from Desenio, um, and then some like little bits from Timu that I've done an order. Um, an order on Timu, so like blankets and that. I'm hoping they'll be really, really nice. Um, and yeah, that's the current situation. It's gonna look nice. It's like we've gone back to movement vlogs again, but just the process over the next few weeks, it's gonna be a mess up there. But I said to Dan, I hope by the end of October, everything will be done. Fingers crossed. And as for the utility, we're, just, we're forgetting about it. We can't. There's just much more we'd rather spend our money on. Things like the hallway, like the stairs, the landing, and my room, like, we will see a lot of that. We don't actually need a utility. We only did it because it's a spare little room here attached to the kitchen. We could have made it. Oh, can you see it? See that room just there? It's just an extra little room space. We could have made it into a downstairs toilet, but Dan said he didn't want a toilet right next to the kitchen. So... Yeah, we're gonna, it's full of junk at the minute, I'll be honest. Like, I swear it's got like cardboard in it from Christmas. Um, so we're just gonna get that, rip up the carpet, because there's carpet in there for some reason. And we're just gonna stick a tumble dryer in there for now, for the winter. And then when we feel like spending the money, we'll get the utility put in there. We're gonna hopefully match all the kitchen counters from in here. But that is the current situation. I'm just carrying on making sure the downstairs is tidy because as long as downstairs is tidy, I'm fine. Can deal with the mess up there. Um, and then we are going to my brother's, my brother's sister's, my brother and his girlfriend's house in a couple of hours. She's going to do my hair for me. I'm only going to get half a head because it doesn't desperately need doing, it just needs freshening up from like, like a tannin foundation and yeah I just want a little fresh up and I think she's going to trim it a little bit for me as well um I'm really tempted to get like a like some bangs I hated it last time though but like I kind of did it with the breakage yesterday I might just get her to get into a little bit so I can kind of like tick it but can style it I don't know we'll see I might I probably will check it out 
But that is the current situation, so I just wanted to update you all on. But I'm going to go now. I'm just making some lunch before we go. Um, Dan's having a fish finger wrap, and I'm going to have some spaghetti and tuna. And I'm also sticking the garlic again as well to share, because I don't think we're going to be eating some really late tonight when we get back. So, a big lunch. A big lunch it is. Uh, eat this, Dan wants to watch some of the F1, and then... I'll take a drive to my brother's house. He lives like just over an hour away. So comfortable. No one seems to hold me like you do. Mm -hmm. You're so wonderful. A star could never shine as bright as you. Mm -hmm. Even the dark days still see light. Even the birds still sing at night. Every word just comes out right when I'm with you, with you. I. It just needed fresh to nap, so like underneath at the back, it probably still be like darker. But from the front, like now, it's nice and nice and it feels it just feels nice and clean. It's all nice and blonde again. But the time is currently ten to seven, and we need to eat. This is what I'm on about with the the, uh, the banister. Swack on a line spindles because there's no point it's getting carpet because it will follow through from here into here down here but there's no point until we've sorted this out so next plan is to get this sorted asap because I'm not, I'm not moving anything until it's sorted i could just move everything back in but i just want it to be done done i feel like if i moved everything back in now i'd be like oh do you know what it's fine don't worry about carpet do you know what i mean like, i'd rather just get it to perfection <laughs> for once so yeah just hoping someone will get back tomorrow or tuesday and we can get it sorted here's dinner and we're watching prison break still i think we'll be watching it for a very long time five seasons five yeah. seasons I don't know how, I think it goes quite crap there, so it's really oh, maybe we won't watch it all then. I have just come to blow out this tea light and also end this weekly vlog here. It wasn't quite a weekly vlog. I know it kind of wasn't, um, but I, I'm still hoping I've got a little bit of footage. I'm hoping the next few weeks of weekly vlogs will actually be like a little bit more decent in terms of like house updates. Things like that. <laughs> I'm hoping. Here's hoping because it's been it's been just over 24 hours and I already want that room back. So I'm hoping things are gonna progress quickly. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you all very soon for another video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye guys.